Okay, this is the how-to step-by-step -step video to play the Pirates of the Caribbean main theme on the cello. I'm playing it on a violin, but I'm going to teach it to you on a cello. So first I'll play it for you so you can hear it. Alright, so the first half of that I'm going to teach you in this video. <clears throat> We're going to do it in four sections. Before I teach you the four sections, um, I'm going to give you two spots to start with. So these are the, the two hardest things in the entire thing, okay? So we're going to start with that, and that'll be helpful so that you aren't frustrated later on. So we'll just get the hard stuff out of the way first, but I'm breaking it down to something that's pretty manageable, okay? These are just three note spots. The first three notes are actually the first three notes of the whole thing. This is on the G string. We're going to play a B, so this is your third finger. Open D, and then the first finger E on the D string, okay? So it's that, just learning those first three notes. And you want to be able to play them up to tempo. So you can start really slow. And the hard thing is just getting the string crossing fast enough, crossing the G string to the D string. So you start by practicing it slow, and then you work on that. When you have that down, we're going to do the second spot, okay? Here's the second spot. It's on the D string to start. You're going to play a G, so this is your fourth finger. Uh, sorry. Okay, get on the right string here. And then open A, and then our third finger, F sharp, on the D string. Now this one's tricky because you're crossing strings twice. You're crossing from the D string to the A, and then back to the D, and you're doing it in a little bit of time. So you have to practice that to get it really clean. You don't want it to sound messy. All right, when you have that, then you've got those two spots learned. We're ready to put the, the learn the first section. I almost started playing the violin. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, those first three notes we did in the first spot, and add a second E at the end of it. Okay? Then we're gonna play on the D string, these notes. E, again, F sharp, which is our third finger, fourth finger G, two times. So, it sounds like this, if we put those two little segments together. And you can put a pause in between each one. Pause, set for the next one. Okay, and then the third segment is the, the spot we already did. So it's the, but we're gonna add a, another F sharp at the end. So there's two F sharps there. So we can put those together from the beginning and pause in between. And then the last little segment is just on the D string, E, open D, E, one, open, one. So that's the last segment. Let's put all four together. And then when you have it, you can take out the pause. Maybe just put one in the middle. And when you have that, you can take out the one in the middle. good at this. That one there. I have to practice it slower, playing it a cello on the violin. All right, that's it. That's the first part. Okay, so one down, three to go. Now you might think, wow, that, that seemed like a lot already. I've got really good news for you. We're going to do one more the same length, and then we're going to do two more parts that are actually much shorter than that. Before we do, it's good for you to know that that whole first part repeats. So you play that whole thing through twice. I'm sorry. Again. Okay? 
So here we go. Second part, it starts with the same three notes we did before. Sorry, the same four notes. Then it changes. We're going to play E, and then we're going to change to our G, so our fourth finger, and then open A. Okay, so practice that one. By the way, you can always slow down the playback speed on this video if that helps you to see what I'm playing or hear it slower to help you learn. All right, and let's put it together. Next, open A, first finger B, second finger C, two times. Okay, so let's put those three sections together. And then it's on the A string, B, open A, B. Okay, so let's put those four together. Pause in between. Pause. And then when you have that with the pauses, take them out and just do one in the middle. By the way, you can pause as long as you need to to process the next part. I'm just showing you where the pauses could be. All right. And then without pausing. That's the second part, so the second section. So let's put the first two sections together now. Uh, repeat. New section. All right, here we go. We're on to section three already. And if your head is spinning, take your time. You can always come back to the video, but the next two sections are much shorter. They're easier than what we've done so far. Okay, here it is. Oops, I'm trying to get the right string. That's the whole third section, okay? So it's on the D string to start, first finger E, third finger F sharp. I'm sorry. Yes, that's right. E. Third finger F sharp, fourth finger G, twice, and then open A, and first finger B. Okay? All right. So once you have that section, we'll go to the fourth section. It starts on the D string. Actually, it's all on the D string. So first finger E, fourth finger G, third finger F sharp, twice, and then fourth finger G, third finger F sharp, first finger E. When you have that, let's put sections three and four together. Oops, sorry. thing together. Repeat. Second section. Third section. Fourth section. All right, and that's it. Now, the second half of the theme, which I played at the very beginning of the video, <clears throat> will be taught in a future video. So start with this part, and then we'll have a part two to come. <laughs>